coming to you live from scenic the basement in brooklyn um i'm jana jefferson yeah uh, ref city <laughs> so this is um icn studios in brooklyn i'm jana jefferson and this is the and friends podcast with jana jefferson so every other week me and a new guest host each time we're going to give you the latest kind of discussion in pop culture the industry their career life and more and today's guest is none other than carrie foe a rapper and a singer hello so how are you today i'm great (laughs) uh how are you enjoying this this beautiful weather we're having outside uh man uh I was actually walking to go get food, and then it just like started raining. So it kind of like, it kind of blew me a little bit. But if I if it was would have started raining while I was in the house, I would have been cool mm-hmm. with it because it's like, oh, okay, it's one of those days where you just get Netflix and you just like chill. Yeah, I but, feel like, yeah. and this is also like the weird kind of weather where it's like it's not hot enough to wear shorts, but it's not like you're still too hot if you wear a if jacket. You wear, yeah, I'm layered up because that's just what I do. It'll be 80 degrees, and if I feel like my outfit looks better in layers, I will still do it. Do you hear it's supposed to be like 90 degrees over the weekend? I don't have time for this. It's like, it's, I think it's probably like this, like the hurricanes and stuff, like just screwing everything No, for over, sure, like, for sure. I'm for just sure. not. I mean, this is, this is like hurricane season. Yeah, so. for sure. Um. Yeah, I think right now we're in the midst of, like, Jose. Like, Jose is just, like, chilling in the corner. And then Maria is down there. And I'm sure there's something else brewing. Yeah, I mean, there's been earthquakes. And there was, like, a Mm 7.1. There was just an earthquake in Mexico. Mexico. There was one just in L.A. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of bullshit. Man, all this (laughs) Mother Earth being like, y'all niggas need to... Can I wait? Can I say (laughs) niggas? Whatever you want to say. I can say niggas? You can say anything you want to say. Oh, okay, cool. Just for for sure. (laughs) I was like, y'all niggas gotta go. <laughs> like, y'all fucking up. I and think, I'm, like, it's, we're, you know what? I think what it is, it, we're punished for, like, Trump. This is what's happening because of Trump. I mean, <laughs> like, but also, we do not take care of the earth. Like, mm-hmm. we really don't. Like, a lot of the things that, like, come on, we be, <laughs> we be doing crazy shit. I don't so know. So much air pollution. Like, so much pollution. Yeah, just mm-hmm. pollution and, like, the water pollution, like, the water usage is fucking ridiculous. Like you're in LA and you see niggas using their sprinklers in the morning and it's like, you're in a drought. <laughs> mm-hmm. what the, why do we have fountains? And I don't understand. Because don't green grass is better than, but the grass ain't real in <laughs> LA. It's not that's real. The, it's that's like the worst part about it. The worst part. So before every episode officially starts, um, I want to give my mood of the day and I want you to give your mood of the day. Um, it's called the Beyonce mood of the day. So you can use a Beyonce song, a Beyonce lyric, a Beyonce maybe video, kind of how she looks, to describe sort of how you're feeling today. So what would you say your Beyonce mood of the day is? Uh, I'll say, can it be Destiny's Child? Oh, girl, of I mean, course. The, it could be girls' time if you really wanted to go back that far. Even um, though I don't know how they really got down back yeah, then. Yeah, me either. <laughs> uh, it would probably be Happy Face. Oh, why is that? Because I love that song, and that's just how I feel today. So I feel yesterday, too. Like, I don't know, I'm just really happy. I woke up this morning, the sunshine was shining, even though it wasn't. Mm-hmm. I put on my happy face. I'm living, I'm grateful, I'm breathing, I'm able to put on my happy face. That's beautiful. Yeah. And the way you say it just makes it sound <laughs> better. But they sing it mm-hmm. even better, you know, so... <laughs> I'd like to think, I think today it's sweet dreams because that's exactly what I'm going to be saying as soon as I hit the bed. Like, I'm so, today has just been like a day. I don't know if it's because of like the weather outside. It just made me like feel really like lethargic Mm -hmm. or it's just like my energy levels have just dropped. But I'm so tired. Like I slept all the way. I, I live in New Jersey, so I slept all the way like from my stop in New Jersey to Mm -hmm. New York to get here. Like, and sometimes I like pretend to sleep on the train. So the conductors don't bother me. But this time I was like, actually like dead ass asleep. Like head was like nodding. My (laughs) neck was really stiff when I was done. Like I'm, really tired today so i think sweet dreams is the mood yeah no for sure that's good awesome so so our first uh section of the show is uh hot takes so it's just gonna be i only found two news stories that i was interested in because the rest of them i'm just like i can't really like, elaborate on them so it's just like hot topics and we just kind of talk a little bit about them okay the so hot topic one uh kevin hart <laughs> is being extorted 
by a woman who says this she has a... This is a hot take. Oh, absolutely. So um, hot. Who <laughs> leaked a video of them and another woman having sex in a hotel room. And she said that... She basically said, like, money is the end goal. She's like, I'm going to get this money. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's happening. The FBI is on the case. Um, they have someone who's probably a suspect. And before all of this information came out, Kevin posted a video, and he's like, oh, my God, no. <laughs> Like, basically, com- like, um, I'm sorry. Like, I did this uh, to my family. Like, it was an error in judgment. I was in an environment where only bad things can happen. Um, his wife is seven months pregnant. He has two children from his previous relationship, and apparently... He got in the relationship he's in right now through because he cheating. Because cheated on his first wife. Mm-hmm. So the question is, <laughs> why do people cheat, especially multiple times? That, I don't know. I can't ask you. Because I'll just break up with you. Exactly. Like, I feel I like even, I'm going to be like, look, mm-hmm. I'm just not digging this no more. Like Just like be honest instead of just like. Yeah, I have too much, I don't know, I have too much of a conscience where it will just eat me up to know that, like, I'm doing something that I shouldn't be doing. Yeah, and the fact that, like, it's happened before, and he was like, I remember, it was one of his stand-ups, I can't remember which one it was, but he was, like, unapologetic, basically. He's like, yeah, I want to cheat it. Yeah, I don't feel bad about it. And it's just like, how do you, how can you say something to that? I mean, and then also, they say that the way you get a man is the way that you lose him. (laughs) <laughs> absolutely so uh yeah i mean it's, it's not it's not surprising it's like all right well, i mean that's how you got him like mm-hmm. you got him through him cheating so that's how he gonna do you the same way because there's no pregnant. there's no like oh, yeah. and then especially like, so if she's sad. pregnant he's like oh she's fat i don't want to deal with her yeah, like, she's like, probably uh, moody, she moody and she don't want me to touch her it's so sad. Do you think, like, once a cheater, always a cheater? Like, do you think that's a true fact? I don't know. I can't say. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that because, I mean, like, people do change. They can't. I'm not going to say they do change. They can change if they want to. Mm-hmm. But, like, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. But, I mean, but the thing is, is, like, if you're a woman and you get a, and you get a dude that's, like, cheating to be with you, mm-hmm. then you can't really be surprised yeah you can't be surprised you can't really like be i don't know like you set yourself up for that one oh god it's just like and the fact that he's like going through all of this like he's got the fbi involved now and it's just like well you wouldn't have to like try to get this woman and destroy the evidence if you didn't do this in the first place yeah like the only person you really have to blame for yourself so is yourself so i'm really hoping that he can like go back and be like i'm really sorry i don't i don't know what her plan is like i think like TMZ saw her and they asked her questions like, how are you feeling? And she just like didn't say anything. But then his ex-wife, he's just like, ha, told you. Like, <laughs> I knew it. This is what he does. I mean, like, yeah. It's kind of. She been there, done it. Mm-hmm. So she, she know. So Kevin Hart, mm, that's, that's how I feel about you right now. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I don't. I, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> I saw this thing. It was on Twitter, and it was just like four pictures. It was like Bill Clinton, Kevin Hart, uh, Tiger Woods, and <laughs> Kobe Bryant, and they all had this like mm, face. Like their lips were like pursed together, and they're like, "That's the nigga. I'm a cheater." Face. <laughs> and I was like, "Yes, yeah, absolutely." I Kevin don't know, Hart. man. Cheating is just like I don't know. I feel like it's very cowardice. It is, but also like I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like you just gotta, you just gotta be honest. Like, I don't know, cause you never know. Like, your partner might be into that type of shit and be like, "Oh, well, shit, <laughs> let's make this thing open." Like, you wanna fuck around, wanna fuck around too. I don't know, but also niggas can't handle that. Mm-hmm. They can't handle that. <laughs> so I don't know. And the second hot topic, there wasn't really ho- many hot topics this time. Like, what is there to talk about? It was like Jamel Hill. And Trump, but I didn't want to talk about that. Yeah. And then the Emmys, and I'm like, I don't know if you watch the Emmys or anything. I didn't. Hmm. I don't watch TV. It's so funny. I just realized last night um, with my friend, I was like, I don't like watch. I don't like TV. I have this weird thing about TV. Like I just, oh my god, don't never mind. I'm no, definitely. no, go right into it. That's why we have podcasts. So no, so we I have was to just talk and speak. No, it's just like I'm like I don't like watching TV. Like I don't like looking at TV because I always feel like I'm being programmed to like feel some type of way. I don't know. Like the news, I cannot watch the news. Oh, I hate the news. I cannot watch like because it's always just like 
purposely sad. It's like a little boy got hit by a car today. And it's and on here's loop. The but numbers. the thing is, yeah. it's like it's on loop. It's literally the same thing. And then and people like I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. TV now, is just weird. I don't watch many shows. Like this was the first Emmys I've watched in like a really long time because I actually like watch the shows. Like I watched um obviously watched Atlanta. I watched uh, Master of None, but that's on Netflix, so it's like I'm not really yeah, like, no, watching and, real yeah, TV. I'm, yeah, I'm, I watch a lot of like Netflix, Hulu, and that's when I'm like, I'm one of those people where I just binge, like I wait till mm-hmm. something comes out and then I just binge watch the whole thing because I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not waiting, waiting a next whole week. week. Yeah. What shows did you binge this year? Um, what did I watch? I spent a lot of time in my room. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I watched that. Um. I watched the Get Down. I was so disappointed to hear that that's crumbled. Yeah, and I was like, and people were saying that the second season w- was bad. I don't know. I liked it. I, I mean, thought it was interesting with the um, with like the comic kind of aspect of it. I yeah, that was really I mean, cool. I liked that show, and like, I don't know. Some people thought it was like cheesy, but I thought it was tight. I like maybe, the music. Maybe because I'm cheesy. I don't know. <laughs> I like, I like that kind of stuff. Um, I watched that. I watched Girl Boss. I've been told to watch that, but I haven't gotten the time. Yeah, I don't even think they, I didn't even make it to season two. Um, <laughs> I watched Glow. That's another one. Everyone's like, you gotta Man, watch Glow it. is good. What is it about? It's about this, I don't, it's about this girl. She wants to be an actress really bad. And she always goes to these castings and always gets turned away. But then she gets this one opportunity to be a part of this all women's wrestling TV show. And her best friend or ex best friend ends up also being a part of the show too, but she becomes her ex best friend because the main character sl- sleeps with her best friend's husband. Oh, and glow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so basically they they both end up on this job because her friend's also an actress. They end up mm-hmm. on this job and they they're ba- they basically trying to like work through their whole you know their friendship thing, but while also like hating each other and having to wrestle each other wow. and be enemies on the show. And I feel like there's like a little bit of like truth in the wrestling too, since they probably like secretly hate each other. Yeah, no, yeah. And that's the thing. So so like one has to be made to look at like the bad character and the other one has to be mm-hmm. looking at, like, yeah, so they, yeah. But they're also trying to like work out if they're even still cool at like outside of the wrestling thing. Interesting. So yeah, it's a really good show though. It's that's funny. cool. I've been watching, I I watched BoJack Horseman, the fourth Same. season, and like wait, 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 the fourth. Whoa, wait. it's it's four seasons in. The new season started last two weeks ago. Oh yeah, no. Oh my god, I, I gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see yeah. you guys later. Bo, this season, this past season of BoJack was so like real. Like you know, it's just like the a fourth very, one. Yeah, it's real. Because the third one was the, the third season put me in my feelings. I was real like, fast. I was like, Ew, this is heavy. This one's just as like there's. <laughs> I, I don't want to like spoil anything, but there's like a lot of moments where I'm just like, I'm going to watch Ooh. it. And then I watch Stranger Things. I'm excited for that to come back. Um, Did you watch OA? OA? Yeah, the OA. No. Did you like that show? Why? Is, it was terrible. Why I thought it was okay. <laughs> it was terrible. I don't know. It was just not, it was, the acting was just so bad. <laughs> Oh, I watched Thirteen Reasons Why. I, I now I for me I just can't go into watching a show knowing I'm going to be like in my feelings. I think that's another reason why I haven't watched that show and I haven't watched um This Is Us because I just like can't be upset. Like I no, I know I can't be upset. But be upset at what though? Like this, I just the situations, the scenarios, because isn't the whole thing like surrounding suicide? Yeah, but also, man, Hannah Baker, man, <laughs> Hannah Baker. <laughs> She was a motherfucker, man. <laughs> All she had to do was just be like, hey, I'm hurting. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I'm going to just keep it a buck. Like, Hannah Baker just really went too far. I'm like... Shawty, you had all this time to record these tapes and you couldn't just reach out to somebody and be like, yo, I might kill myself. Like, for real. Like, I don't know. It was it was just like... It just That's made me upset because I'm like... Sad. No. Like, like but I the thing can't. is, it was a lot of the, it was a lot of stuff where it's just like she could have just spoke up. Like mm-hmm. it was so many opportunities she had to just speak up. Yeah. But I mean that I mean I guess it's like it's subjective. You know what I mean? Like some mm-hmm. people just never want to reach out. Like they never want to let anybody yeah, know I that feel they're like a, a lot of people like 
we actually talked about like suicide last. This is like a really morbid show. I realized, but we talked about suicide the last I'm episode, a morbid person. and basically how like um, it takes sometimes it takes people like speaking out about it for people to be like, oh, like it is okay for me to talk about it. Yeah. So I guess that's like hopefully something that you can learn from watching that show. Maybe I will watch it. Yeah. No, I'm, it's like, not. Really it's feeling. not. It's it's not gonna have you in your feelings. It's really just. It's really just shows how like how you what you do to somebody can really affect them you know what i mean like how just certain things you say or um just certain jokes that you may make about somebody like how that can really like mm-hmm. linger in their mind you know what i mean mm-hmm. and really like be heavy on their heart and so that's it's, it it was good for that but i'm like also I'm like th- the whole recording tape thing like that that's just, a lot of effort put that's into a that. lot it's a <laughs> lot of effort so much i was just like Girl. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I definitely have to watch that for mm-hmm. sure. Um, what else was... Oh, I'm sorry. I watched a lot of shows. <laughs> um, So you didn't watch, like, anything on TV TV, or you did? Mm, no. I would assume you watched Insecure. Yeah, but like I said, I watched it on the internet. True. Yep. Everything on the internet. How did you feel about Insecure? Uh, As far as what? Um, I guess the whole, I guess how everything's turned out. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm not, I, I haven't seen the very last episode. This, this. Oh, I won't, I won't say anything then. Okay, cool. I, I haven't seen this last episode. That's the only one I haven't seen. But, um, honestly, like, I know everybody has like. Their sides. Yeah, they're like, on. oh, I'm team. I'm team Bouch, to be like, honest with you. Like that dirty ass couch outside. That's me. Like, I feel it. I feel it. Like, I, Issa made too many mistakes. But I mean, every, like, that's the thing. Everybody, and that's what I like about the show because it shows how everybody be fucking up. Mm-hmm. It's like, there is no, like, you can't really be like, oh, they wrong for this. But it's like, oh, well, he did this. Mm-hmm. He did do this. And it's like, oh, well, yeah. damn. Like, I'm, the whole, and that's real life. Mm-hmm. That's literally Absolutely. real life because we all play a role. I feel like we all play roles in certain situations mm-hmm. that even that we don't want to be in. It's like, mm-hmm. What did you do to get here? Yeah, I liked. I'd like to say I'm Team Bouch. Um, Kelly was great this season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kelly was when she got. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Kelly was fire. <laughs> Kelly's always fire. And then I like Chad. Some of the things that he said, like I remember he was like trying to help Lawrence like move into his new house, mm-hmm. and then he was like walking up the stairs. He's like, ooh, like <laughs> the yeah. Cinderella trick. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. <laughs> yeah no, he's I funny. died. So I really like him. He's funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. Lawrence be pissing me off. Lawrence, Lawrence is so triggering. Just doesn't, He's so like, triggering. Uh, the thing he just needs to. It's he, he needs to express. He, he needs to express ooh. himself. He really needs to. Express, and that's so <laughs> many guys. Oh my god, that's they're just like, oh, you acting like a hoe. It's like no. Well, look at you, yeah. Mister. He he <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Two like random two ass random girls, white girls from a fucking store for forty four dollars worth of graph like groceries. Okay, Lawrence, slanging like, dick for forty dollars, <laughs> and that's not whole behavior. Slanging dick for forty dollars, <laughs> and probably like a pack of gum and a pack of gum. Like disgusting, Lawrence. Whore. If you don't, <laughs> Horrence, Hor- Horrence, Horrence is his name. Horrence Hive. <laughs> And that's the that's all the people that follow Lawrence and think that he's the fucking man. He and you're just like, yeah, horn, man, part of Horrence. Yeah, high. yeah, yeah. Lawrence, like no. He had me hot. And then he gonna bring the new girl up, knowing damn well. So mm-hmm. I mean, that's like, oh, I didn't know. I was just okay, whatever. Okay, Lawrence. I like I tried to like be like okay, Lawrence. Like at first, like the end of the first season, I'm like okay, Lawrence. Like this is okay. You. She got what she was, what was coming to her. Like she deserved this, but and then he just kept letting me down. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know what, Lawrence? Like, I'm tired. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm. I, I've been tired of him. Nah, Lawrence. Did I just delete something? And oh then uh, Daniel skied it in her eye. <laughs> that was like, I think I was like, now that that. I don't want to get into that. Okay. <laughs> that's another situation. Okay, that's cool. So <laughs> Cardi B mm-hmm. could be the first female rapper with the number one song mm-hmm. without a feature in 23 years mm-hmm. if streaming helps. Um, I know you and I like started talking because we talked about female rappers in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think we could still be doing more, even though this is like a pretty big step in the positive direction? I mean, I mean, we doing it. 
I mean, female artists are killing it right now. Honestly, I don't know. That's what I feel like. But, I mean, like, it just comes with time. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, the more the more artists that keep doing stuff like this and just, like, keep um, just being present and being vocal, I feel like, you know, well, we just have to see where it goes. And being authentic, too. Yeah, Because, you know, being, she's not going to pretend to be anybody. She's yeah, not, not at all. has been her since, like, she's been out. Since day one. So it's really cool to, like, see her, like, prospering is so cool because you know that she's just like she's so cute i saw an interview that like it was um i think she was on the breakfast club and she's just like she's just she's just so fun like how can you not not like that girl like she's so i don't know man people find a way to like that people are just haters like all the time but but she's like she's so charming and I wish her the best, honestly. No, for sure. And I hope she does get number one. Yeah, because then Taylor Swift won't be number one anymore. And oh that'll gosh. just, like, oh I think gosh. that the sun will come out tomorrow if Taylor Swift, like, does not. Oh, my God. I'm so sick. <laughs> T-Swizzy. She's just. What's these singles you dropping, girl? I don't know what <laughs> she's back. doing we don't want them. <laughs> at all. Like, I don't know what she's doing. Like, I feel like some of the song, like, the first song was just horrific. Like, yeah. not even saying that because I don't like her no, as a no, person, no, no, but no. her music is just, it, the first song was just terrible. No, I ain't even gonna hold you up. Her last album was Flames. Yeah, but there was like, what was she, it? Red? She just had a. It was a pretty good album. Uh, it was like 19, what is it? 89? Oh, 1989. Oh, yeah, Red, I mean, Red was albums ago. Where am I been? Yeah, no, 1989 was like really good. There was nothing but hits on there. But I'm like, this? What is this? Like, come on, if you're gonna come back to like make a point to Kanye or mm-hmm. whomever else it is that's hating on you. Girl, you gotta have stronger singles than it's that. Come like, stronger girl, you, we need some that. 808s, girl. We need like, you need to get some rappers to write your bars. Mm-hmm. If well, we the, got, se- the second I mean, song you, was like, it was worse than the first. <laughs> Honestly, so I feel like the second song sounded like it was a it was, Jesus reject. Exactly. Like it was like, what are you? But doing? that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna do that, you need to hire some rappers because mm-hmm. you got the money, you got the clout, you Taylor Swift, you can get whatever you want. Yeah. Go find somebody, write you some bars, come back at Kanye hard. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come back and make him wish that he let never let him know. Yeah, you gotta let him know. Like, come on, you can't be coming back what with that. I don't like you. I don't like you. <laughs> okay. I, my hair's blonde and I don't like you. I was listening to a podcast and they basically said like that song is like, I know you are, but what am I? Like, that's basically like the whole Literally. song is. And it's like, oh, it is true. It's just like, Taylor, your hair. Taylor, your snake. Taylor, your snake. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what that song is. I don't is. know. She should have hired Mike Will Made It. <laughs> that would have been something interesting. Oh, Could you imagine got... Taylor Swift? Or oh, like um, <laughs> Young Metro. It's like, ooh. Young Metro don't trust you. I'm going to shoot you. And she just been... come on at me. Like, come on, Taylor. That would have been. I nice. would, honestly, I would not even be mad if she did that. I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, that's the only way to yeah because i don't know i don't know how much longer we gonna be anticipating taylor swift's albums after this one because i'm like because this one, i don't know what I, I all i know is that this is not gonna be what i don't think this is gonna be the anticipated result for her like i know she's gonna be like yeah like i mean it's gonna do well on, oh, on top uh, it's gonna do well but i don't know about like critically hit, as far as hit hits because yeah. like 1989 was it was was that all, the, damn near all those blo- songs were Ooh. on the radio. Bad Blood was great. Yeah, it was Bad Blood, uh, Wildest Dreams, Blank Space. It was like she had a whole... Ooh, Blank Space? Let me look, let me yeah, look up this album. Yeah, she had... Man, 19... Because, like, for me, like, even though I don't like her, I'm going to give it to her when props are due. Like Shake It Off, bro. Shake It Off was... F- I'm sorry. It was a good song. I Ooh. love that song. Oh, no. what? Let me look at the track listing. So we're looking at the track listing. Welcome to New York... I don't know what that is. Blank space was catchy. Yeah, uh, style. We're never going out of style. That was a good that, song. Out yeah. of the woods. I don't know. That. I don't know. Shake it off. Very catchy. I wish you would. I just think of uh, Bad blood, <laughs> Wildest Dreams. Wildest Dreams. The other ones I don't know because they weren't on the radio, and I'm not gonna like listen to it again. <laughs> so yeah. No. Yeah, there's. She's had some good songs. Like, oh, I knew that. I knew you were trouble. That song was oh, catchy yeah. as no, hell. That was really good. I really like that song. So like, I'll give her props when it's due, but at the same time, it's like, no, it's just the new stuff. The new stuff is terrible. I'm, I'm like, I don't know what's going if on. You want to clap back? You gotta clap back. No, yeah, you need to hire some good writers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jack Antonoff can't write a rap song every time. Like, sorry, you can't work with him every time if you want to like 
She could have hired Party Next Door on mm. the Mike Will Made It Beat, man. I don't know. That could and that could have all went secretly. You know what I'm saying? It didn't even have to be like Party Next Door wrote this. She could have just paid him off and been like, Yeah, she could have done the thing that she it. did with uh, Calvin Harris, been quiet for months and just be like, Oh, yeah, by the way, this number one song, it's my song. Like, she could have done that with, with anybody. Yeah. Oh, Taylor. So many mistakes. But I think, I think that's the end of Hot Takes. Mm hmm. So the second portion of it is a little Q&A interview with you. Hello. So if you didn't listen to my intro, uh, Carrie is a singer and a rapper and a musician. So you recently moved to New York. So yeah, are there, Oh, like she's that. from uh, Little Rock. So what are like the, some of the big similarities and differences that you're noticing like right away between Little Rock and New York City? There's more differences than anything else. Uh, the difference is, uh, the people, it's not like, I mean, here there's so many different kinds of people, mm -hmm. like, from all over the world, different backgrounds, um, and in Little Rock it's not necessarily like that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like, you got black people, you got white people, you got Mexicans, because we're so close to Mexico, mm -hmm. we're like Texas, and then, um, yeah, it's pretty much like it. Um, but I mean like a sprinkle of like other kinds of people, but it's, that's pretty much like mm -hmm. the general population. Um, the weather, it's really hot there right now. And Dude, that's that sweet dreams. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone's sleepy. It's okay. I, th I honestly think it's the weather. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, the weather and also like the air is way cleaner there. Oh yeah. Like this is the dirtiest, like, oh my yeah, God. like the, the weather um, the air is just... It's so funny because you can, like, feel kind of, like, the grossness in your chest after, like, a day in New York, and then you go somewhere where it's actually, like, clean, clean and, and you're like, oh, like, is this what or it even, feels like to have clean Or lungs? even sometimes, like, I don't know, I've been taking shallow breaths for so... Oops, sorry. <laughs> I've been taking shallow breaths for, like, so long that when I take a deep breath, it's so weird to me. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like oh, clean air. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, it's, it's way slower um, here. It's just really busy on the go. Mm -hmm. Everything's open forever. Nothing ever closes. And then home, everything closes by, like, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just really slow in this southern <laughs> hospitality. Yeah, the hospitality is a big thing. The food, thing. <laughs> it's great. Barbecue, mm -hmm. it's awesome. What's been the biggest adjustment? Um, I think the transportation, mm -hmm. the transportation is like, wow, okay, I really got to get on this train Yeah, and like sit on this train to like get where I'm going. What um, area do you live in? I live in Best Eye. Oh, shout out. We're like right over here. Mm -hmm. awesome. So, which versus being back home, you pretty much have to have a car to get where you want to go mm -hmm. or know somebody that has a car. Cause like the bus, the bus stops running at like 8 p.m. So, like, if you get off work <laughs> after 8 p.m. and you need to ride the bus home, it's like, it's not happening. <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, but, yeah, that's been, like, my biggest – I feel like that's been my biggest thing is, like, not trying to call a car every time I need to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Cause awesome. I, I do that too much. What's been, I know you have, like, a – I see you on, like, Instagram all the time, and you have, like, a good group of friends here. Um so what is that like one of the best things about living in New York is like a good group of friends? Yeah, no, my friends are so tight. Um, they make me, and this is kind of the reason why I don't want to leave right now. I'm mean, going to leave soon because um, that's just how I am. Mm -hmm. I can't stay in one place for too long. Um, but no, like my friends are really tight. They're just so supportive and they're just always looking out and like always trying to help me. Mm-hmm. And I'm always helping them. And I don't know, it just feels like a fam It's more of a family thing than anything else. That's nice to know. And I'm all about family. So I, since I don't have any family here, I kind of made one. It's always good to have, like, that adoptive kind of thing. Like, you can't pick your family, but you can definitely pick your friends. And it's good yeah, that no, you can, like, do sure. that here. And I mean, like, I was adopted. Mm -hmm. So, like, the whole family thing. Like, I don't know, like, family is just so important because it's like, yeah, like, what do you have if you ain't got that? Mm-hmm. What do you have? Absolutely. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. Love so, your mom and your dad. Oh, of course. Your mom and your dad, like, uh, 
When they look out, it's so great. Mm hmm. It's so great. Awesome. So a lot of your songs were used on Insecure, and then you, um, so how did you like kind of get in, like involved with that? Uh, Issa just hit me up. She just That's so cool. <laughs> like, just out of the blue, like, hey, I really like your music. Can I use it on my show? I mean, yeah. I mean, we were already, like, following each other on everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I had, like, went, like, we had, like, hung out once or twice. And um, I had her number. So she just, like, texted me and was like, hey, love your album. Want to use songs for it? And I was like, all right, oh tight, cool. And then I would faint. She's just the coolest. Yeah, no, she's oh tight. God. I've been following her since, like, I was in college because I watched um, The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my God, like, I feel like Issa Rae is me. And I remember I was in the dining hall one year, and she was on CNN. And I'm like, I tweeted. I'm like, guys, that's Issa Rae. And they're like, who? And I'm like, oh, I'll just tweet because no one's going to like, no one's gonna understand me. Mm -hmm. So I tweeted. I'm like, Issa Rae's on my TV. And like the praise hand emojis. And she like favorited the tweet. And I'm like, it's still to this day. I'm like, it'll always be there. Like, yeah, oh, no, God, she's, she's like, super she's, cool. She's, she's great because she represents like, she represents a very like under, under represented type of black girl mm -hmm. like a very and the thing is is like there are so many oh yeah girls like, like that i mean me included you know what i mean like just so multi-dimensional that, nice, that the girl who's not like perfect well no one's perfect but she's like she knows she's not perfect yeah and she's just and like, it's this and it's no and it's not it's me. not a big deal and you're mm -hmm. not trying to like strive to be that it's just like I know what I'm self aware enough to know that this is what I am and I'm not gonna mm -hmm. try to like be anything else and I think that's why like I don't know like we read like we clicked so well because mm -hmm. we're like a part of that group and shout out to her for like doing what she's doing like I think they just got clear yep. for the third season like mm -hmm. yo <sighs> nigga let's, let's <laughs> take it to ten seasons Woo! take it to thirteen like I don't know. It's great. She's doing so like so many good things, and like you, you did mention like she's doing so much to like uh, show a different type of black girl that's mm -hmm. not usually seen on TV. And it seems like you've always known who you are. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. or was it something that had to gradually like grow confidence wise? Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like I've always had like a certain level of like. It's just self awareness of who of like who I am and who I'm not. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know. Just over time, I just be like I just felt to start to feel more and more strongly about who I was and who I wasn't. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. when I was younger, it would be things like people were like, "Oh, let's go do this," and I would just be like, "No." You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. as a kid, like literally telling groups of other kids, like, "I don't want to do that. I'm not." Mm -hmm. So like bye go not do even it. trying to fit in yeah like, like this not is not even. me so why even bother yeah and so I was doing that at a very young age mm -hmm. and so as I got older it's just like it just became more of a thing that like just a part of who I am but also like not to say that I don't you know like I don't get on Instagram or whatever and see people that I'm like oh wow like maybe I should have did mm -hmm. this or maybe I should have been more like this you know what I mean that's human like mm -hmm. we all do that we all have like at some point, like, have an inf inferiority complex about ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, like, but now that I'm, like, older and I'm just starting to really understand that, like, being different is great. So much better than It's so standing, much better. Like, be be fitting in with other because people. Because the thing is, is, like, even though it may take longer for people to understand what you are, once they, once they do or once they, even if they don't understand you, some people just respect it. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, that's just who you are. And you're like, you obviously believe in who you are. And once you believe in who you are, then mm -hmm. everybody else will just follow, follow suit. Yep. Mm hmm Awesome. That's, yeah, because I like, that's the one thing like that gravitated me to you. I'm just like, she doesn't care about what anybody thinks. She's I just do live not her care. Life. I do. Okay, let me not say that. I do care. I care a lot. I'm actually a people pleaser to a fault. Um, but... I, like I said, I'm working on just being like, dude, who cares? Like, don't nobody care. It doesn't matter. It really, like, I don't know. Just, 
it just all of this shit doesn't matter. Like it's so far <laughs> we're gonna be old as fuck. If who's gonna care about what you did on Instagram and Twitter? Like mm-hmm. like ten years oh from my now. God, the thing that I hate the most about Instagram, if people, I don't know, maybe it's just my town because they're all just, ugh. but. I've seen people, they put a picture on Instagram and no one likes it. Mm-hmm. And they take it down and then put it up again, like mm-hmm. hours later, hoping that more people will like it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why are we doing this? Mm-hmm. Just like, who cares if you got, if you cracked the 100 likes or if you did this? Like, mm-hmm. just post the picture. That shit, because they say that, like, that whole, uh, like, people liking your stuff is like, it, it, I guess it's sin. It's like, it's like if you were to, like, do like drugs or something that like releases something in your brain. Oh, like the endorphins. Yeah, the or endorphins because it's like you're getting gratification from That's like pathetic. that. That's so pathetic. But I mean like <laughs> social media is addictive mm-hmm. as hell. It's so addictive. Oh, it reminds me of the episode of Black Mirror. Did you see do you watch Black Wh- Mirror? Yeah, which one? The one, uh, the one with um um where she was trying she to the get the ratings apartment. and stuff. Yeah. That, that was episode so accurate. was so accurate. It so like accurate. it freaked me out. I'm just like, wow, I know so many people who are trying to get up to like a 4.2 rating right now. Mm-hmm. Like no facts because like but also it's just like I don't know, that's that's what like publications and brands and mm-hmm. you know like that's what they look at. Like that's like Instagram is now a resume. And it's so sad. It is. Because I spent it's how long sad. in college trying to like build my resume and it's just like It's super sad. Dog. It's super sad. You have enough followers, you could pretty much do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. So crazy. Absolutely like this. So moral of that story, just be yourself. Yeah. Who cares nah, about Instagram? Just, Who cares about Twitter? Like, I don't know. Unless you unless that's where your that's where your bread and butter is, then mm-hmm. other um, than that, just post that picture, girl. It's okay. Yeah, just post it. So you have a project coming out Friday. LOL, I just forgot. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. I am high. If you can t- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. What did, what did, I am stoned. <laughs> I don't what, know if anybody can tell. What did you smoke? Uh, Weed. No, well, what type? Uh, I think it's like Girl Scout cookies or something. I don't know. It's a rapper weed. It's fucking <laughs> crazy. I like I don't know I've been smoking a lot lately and it's been keeping me very mellow because I've been like high strung lately just like and that on edge like helps no, I'm not like into it but I know no it helps. no and the thing is is like you know if what whatever's for you is for you you mm-hmm. know what I mean and for a long time like because I used to be a stoner in um in high school and college like it's all I used to do and then. At one point, I was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like, I'm spending so much money on weed, but, like, I'm not progressing at all. Like, I had to have, like, mm-hmm. a real heart-to-heart with myself. So I stopped smoking for a long time, and then I just became, like, a social smoker. So I would only smoke when I was around mm-hmm. other people who were smoking, which, you know, this wasn't, like, everybody yeah. I got with didn't smoke. So, um, but now I'm like, man, I, I just got to unwind. <laughs> what like, do I do really? to unwind? Uh, I have a nice glass of wine. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big wine. I'll be person. on that wave too, Woo! man. I'll be drunk. Like, I'll be like, wine drunk. Wine drunk is. <laughs> I was just talking about this the other night because we went out. I went out with my friends and I had, mm, I had, I had a lot of tequila. Tequila is like my drink when I go out. Same. Margaritas. Yes. Margaritas. Oh my I'm God. always down for. A so margarita. I had like tequila and I had like that tequila buzz. I know I was drunk. I had one tequila. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me quit playing. I was drunk. I'm just like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I, I was drunk. So I had a, te- a tequila sunrise and then like two tequila shots. That's my shit shots. too. Tequila oh, sunrise. Let's go out together. Man, you trying to hit Casablanca one of these nights? Let- That's like anytime not far you're, from Anytime stay. you're free, let's do it. Yeah, no, nah, I fuck with Casablanca. Shout out to Casablanca. Same, Shout out. Same best eye. But I had um, a tequila sunrise and then two tequila shots just to like get the job done. And I'm just like, I don't know, guys. There's just something about being wine drunk that's so much better than this. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, because you're all giggly. Yeah. And you're just like, I'm just happy. They're just happy as can be. I'm tequila drunk. I'm just like, I... I don't know. I ripped my pants the other night. Like I <laughs> on tequila. Yeah. Okay. So like I don't know. When I go out, I just I just like to have fun. That's like what you do when Did you, you go out. Split? Okay. So let <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it for the boy came on at the place that I was at, and I'm like, guys, this is my shit. This is my shit. And I just like went on. So I was like voguing and like going crazy and doing the arms and stuff. And then I like hit like hit a squat, and I just hear. <laughs> 
and I'm like, oh my God. And they're like, what? And I'm like, my pants are stripped. And I didn't know, like, I was like still trying to have fun, but I was also like kind of touching myself in like the Ruta and the Tudor, just like to see where it ripped. Mm-hmm. And thankfully it was my thigh, okay. but I okay. was like, just tequila Jaina is just like something different. Nah, tequila, I only fuck with tequila when I'm at a very live Mm-hmm. Lively like honestly, setting, like, but for the most part, I'm just like I'm a I'm a wine girl. Like, give me wine any day. I feel yeah, so much no, better with wine. Wine is cool. I like wine. <laughs> but oh, so prime. <laughs> that's that's what we were talking about. Primary is coming Sorry. out Friday. <laughs> um. So um, you said that it's uh more of a reflection of your growth of the past year. Mm-hmm. So looking back, how do you think that you've grown the most? Um. Yeah, like the whole like the whole not caring thing. Like this project is man, it's so weird because it's weird that I'm putting it out because I've been sitting on it for so long. Because I've just had so many people just be like, Oh, well, don't you think you should like get somebody to professionally mix it and master it and oh, you need distribution and Oh, you need to do this. You need PR, and you need uh, just you know just people telling me what I need to do. Mm-hmm. And I mean, what that all of that could be true. It may be true. It it probably one hundred percent is true. But it's like, do I stress myself out over what other people think I should do with my art? Mm-hmm. Because like I mixed and mastered this whole thing by myself. Which I've never done ever in my life. That's awesome. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. for me, like, even if it sounds like shit, I still did it. And that means that, like, I can only get better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I can only get better at that, to- uh, at that, at those kinds of things. So I just felt like it's just whatever. Like, it's just a risk that I'm willing to take. And I mean, it's just seven songs. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, there's, n- it's not like this is my last <laughs> project. Like, yeah. I, my next album can be professionally mixed and mastered mm-hmm. but this one this was just something that you needed to do for you for it was very therapeutic like i made this in my mom's i mean in my mom and dad's house in little rock um i mean like i went i traveled to different cities i went to atlanta a few times and i went to la mm-hmm. um a few times in the middle of me making all of this so that's how i ended up collaborating with some of the producers was like matt martians um jerry paper mm-hmm. um mellow x um So, yeah, like, all of those people, I just, like, you know, they were cool. I ran into them. We sat down, worked a little bit, and then I would just take it home and just kind of build on it Mm -hmm. myself. Um, So, yeah, I mean, it was just showing me that I could do this shit on my own, which I think is very important for me because, like, I've just had, um, you know, I've kind of had to, like, ask other people to do things for me. And now it's the time to do for yourself. Yeah, no, for sure. It's, it's more of a just a, a, a like a test for me mm-hmm. than any, more than anything else. And just in the music being good, actually good, is just like yeah, the cherry oh on God. top. Is uh, you got gotta know came out uh, mm-hmm. last week mm-hmm. or was it two weeks ago? Last week. And then is low key on it too. Mm-hmm. Awesome. But but this version good. of low key is pitched up. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It's like the original version because the version that's out on the HBO soundtrack was like a newer version that I had got mixed for T, like mix and master for TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the this version that's gonna be on the project is just it's just like a little bit different. It's just pitched up and I'm excited to hear it. A little it. sped up, but yeah, awesome. I'm excited. And you're also um you're going on like a short tour of your own, and then you're no, also no my so my tour got canceled. Oh. Because yeah, because I'm going on tour city. So. Oh yeah, well that that actually made sense. And I was sense. going to <laughs> literally the same the cities same except anyway. Atlanta, and people are upset about that. But I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, and just no, think I she'll defi- probably go someplace else, like on her own one day. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm definitely, I definitely, I'm still doing that. I like what I had planned is still like it's so fire and it's gonna, it's still happening. Mm-hmm. So um, it's just me rescheduling everything. Okay. So, yeah, because yeah. like when you said like um, that you're free this day, and I'm just like, oh, she's gonna be in Washington D.C. Yeah, and then I no, looked into it. I canceled. Yep, I canceled. So, what are you excited most about uh, to be on tour with Sid to do? Um, What's your like favorite thing about touring? Uh, I mean, I've only toured once, and that was on the on the West Coast with Aluna George. And I mean, that was tight. It was cool. Like, mm-hmm. it was tight to just go to different cities and, like, have people that had never heard of me just be like, 
oh my god you're so cool mm -hmm. like you should come back so um like this i'm excited about that for sure like going different places that i know i have people that like like my music but also just you know meeting new people and gaining new fans mm -hmm. but also just being on tour with sid and cash uh kitty cash mm -hmm. those are my friends <laughs> like those are my real life friends mm -hmm. so i think that's the fun part to me <laughs> that's gonna be so cool yeah no i'm excited if you weren't a musician what do you think you'd be doing i don't know i don't have no plan b <laughs> I said you should start that advice blog for real. I did. You should do it. So, like, just keep at it. <laughs> like, did you know? Did you, did you I saw that you have like a Tumblr, and then I saw you have like, like an Instagram. Yeah, one. man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Why the fuck did? Why did I you even? Have great advice. Yo. Pussy popped the pain away. That's like the best thing I've ever heard in my life. I mean, it. it that's what you have to do when you're hurt. Okay, <laughs> you have to do that. But no, like seriously, I literally had started that shit, and like I was like high when I started it. And then, like, I had sobered up, and I was just looking at it, and I was like, what the fuck have I started? <laughs> like, <laughs> what have I done? Like, this is just me having one of those high moments, and, be, and then later be like, what did you just do? <laughs> so, no, it's cool. Like, people have been asking me questions and stuff. I'm going to keep at it with the Instagram thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if people care. I watch them. I love your advice. Like, I mean, no. like, the sh like I think you tweeted something once, and I tweeted back. I'm like, why haven't you started, like, an advice column yet? <laughs> I don't know, because, I mean, people don't be asking me for enough advice. Probably because I'm just so, I don't know, I'm just, I make a joke out of everything. Like, somebody, I'm like, the video I posted when I was, like, somebody asked me about, like, they lended money to their ex or something. Mm -hmm. And he went ghost on him, and I was just like... I'm like, what the fuck? Find this nigga. Like, kill him. <laughs> like, find him and kill him. <laughs> like, and why are you giving money to your ex-boyfriend? And so somebody commented and was like, she did the right thing. He is a human. He he needed help. All right, girl. You care, and you cared about him. I'm like, what? Obviously, he didn't care if he went ghost on her ass mm -hmm. like, and did not pay her her money back. Like, mm -mm. I get what you're saying. She did do the right thing, but she just did the right thing to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. So, bloop. Absolutely. Get out of my face. <laughs> oh, my God. You wrote something. I think this is when I said you had to start an advice column. You put, when you got the sauce, you just got it. The sauce is infinite if you believe it to be. And I'm like, yes. I relate no. to that on a spiritual level. It's true. No, it's so true. Like, I have the sauce, and that's not to be pretentious. I there's just something about me, and because this is what people tell me, mm -hmm. there's just something about me. It's just like I just have like that thing. About I just have you. like a style, mm -hmm. or just like a certain way of doing things that like people like, and it's like, and I don't even know what it is. So obviously, it's just me, just being myself. Yeah, just keep doing that. Yeah, thing. so it's like <laughs> it's infinite. If you feel like, cause some people. Just, you know they get they're like oh i don't know if i could do that thing again that people really like and it's mm -hmm. like don't worry about that like just make something better just Absolutely. try something different great advice so if if you weren't a musician that's what like you should continue to do. i mean i want to be i low-key want to be a psychologist or a ther like you know like a therapist because mm -hmm. i like psychoanalyzing people did you ever take any psych classes or anything i took one and that's how i even i got there i was like whoa maybe i should be doing this I even saw a psychic once. I saw and a psychic once. She was crazy. Like I like a lot of the stuff that she said. I'm just like, whoa! Like yeah. how how could you? It was tarot cards. I'm like, how are you? Oh no, tarot is the shit. I love tarot. Tarot was like the coolest thing I've ever tarot experienced. Is the shit. I got in my, my own deck. I'd be reading myself, but that was I, the coolest um, thing I've ever seen. No, I had did. I had went and saw a psychic back home, and um, she was just like. Cause I was just like, I don't know if I want to do music anymore. Like this was like, but this was this was like a year ago when I was going through whatever I was going through to make me make this project. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she was just like, "Have you ever thought about psychology?" And I was like, "How you know that?" And she was just like, she was like, <laughs> "I don't know. You're just really good at reading people." She's like, "I don't know. You would have been really good at it if you would have studied it." I'm like, oh. well, thanks for letting me know that. Like, damn, now I feel like I'm on the wrong path of life. Mm -hmm. I'm out here fucking succeeding at being a rapper when I could have been a great <laughs> psychologist. <laughs> Which is like, maybe I can do both. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, why, why not do both? I'll do it when I'm like 60. That's what I said. I like, I've always wanted to get my master's, but I think just for the principle of getting the master's. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, 
I don't think that's the right reason to get it. So I'm like, maybe when I'm like 50 or 60, I'll just go get it. Just yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna get my I want to get my degree like before then, but I want to start a practice when I'm around like mm-hmm. that age because I mean starting to practice is kind of hard. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I know it's gonna tell. I'm gonna give myself some time. Like, give me like 30. Years. <laughs> Just give the 30 years to just like get a book and just like start mapping out ideas and stuff. Mm-hmm. So for you, what is what does music give you? Uh, man, this is something I can't even explain. Like music is music is just so therapeutic to me and it's so healing. Um, it's just it's crazy how much I like connect to it because I can't I can't even really describe it and even like if you read like my like my chart like my birth chart mm-hmm. it even says in there it's like she has a natural affinity for music like just just in my chart so it's like obviously music was always gonna be something that I was gonna mm-hmm. like cling on to in my lifetime because like it's it says that I have like and it even says like I. I, I'm attracted to like artists so like I have like a lot of artist friends mm-hmm. and are romantically involved with like artists and like all this shit so um music is just healing and like being around people that make music and they like kind of show you um just a different way of looking at things like mm-hmm. perspective um I don't know it's just it's just tight like I can just literally like you put on music and if it's good and I like it and it touches me I won't talk for a long time. I'll just sit there and just like kind of soak it up. Yeah, I'll just kind of like have a med like have a meditative moment, um, and it's like wow, she's kind of weird. Like (laughs) she's vibing to that music all by herself, like no one else is here. Mm -hmm. It's like no one is here when I'm listening to music. That's awesome. Who are some of your like favorite musicians besides yourself? Um, I'm not even my favorite, so I'm not Hmm. even. (laughs) I know that's so bad. I'm like. (laughs) I just started listening to my music like, wow, this is kind of good. <laughs> um, I really like, I don't know. I listen to so much stuff, so much random stuff. I just have an appreciation for, like, anything that's, like, that feels honest. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really, like, into too much, like, pop music. Not, like, not like, like modern pop, mm-hmm. like, early 2000s pop. I really like that shit. Like, Britney Spears. <sighs> yes. I actually, like, there we go with the drunk stories again. Drunkenly defended Britney Spears, like, a month ago. Cause oh, I, I, then uh, you're, wa- you're good in my book, mm-hmm. then. I don't know. It was one of her videos. <laughs> I don't know who it was. And I'm just like, you know what, guys? Britney Spears, best. Fe-. I'm like, uh, well, no, I said second best because Janet's best. I said second best female dancer, Britney Spears. And like, why? I'm like, she had training. She knows her like her spots. Why is, don't look at me like that. Who's your who you who is yours? Beyonce is a close third. Dancer. Dan Britney Spears was uh, a dancer first. Yeah, but I don't know about that because like because oh, Britney okay. no okay Britney <laughs> Britney ain't she ain't moving like she used to. Oh not lo- no it, it went away. But when she was in her prime. You couldn't tell that bitch nothing. Oh like, no, Brittany, Brittany could move. Brittany, Brittany is fine. I'll man, I used to stand for her. It's it's crazy because I had like her like maybe it was her was it her second album? Her first. her first album was the first CD I ever like bought for myself. I was like six. I think which one had Lucky on it? That was she uh was the her, Britney album. That's the second yeah, one, that's right? the second one. Yeah, I had that one. And like, she's a lucky, dun, dun, dun. she's a star, but Thank she you. cry, cry, cries in a lonely heart, thinking if there's nothing missing in my life, then why do these tears come at night? Ah. I love that. <laughs> Man, that just gave me chills. Oh, Britney my Spears, God. Britney Spears, like, you couldn't tell that woman anything Bruh, like she, she was on top of the world no she really was oh god no but i defended her like she is she was such a strong dancer like that slave for you video still <sighs> makes me slave for you and um my sexuality <laughs> slave for you was great uh dance wise uh oh, what was it? uh what was the name of that it was the one with madonna me against the music oh yeah god is that, that one where her and madonna made out uh I don't At think the MTV that thing? was that they sang like a virgin and, and made, out. made out, but I think they just did the song together. Um, me against the music. Oh my god. What about Christina? Christina, 
I will also defend. And I ain't gonna hold you up. Christina was a bad bitch. She, like, that's the thing. She was like, they put, they put her in there to, like, go up against Britney. And she, she, she had more, she, she had more edge. She had way more and way edge. more vocal ability too. Yeah, no. I'm not. I'm not gonna defend Britney's singing she voice because I know she, she doesn't have a good voice. It's funny because she she had like came in with like piercings and shit. I'm like, oh, this bitch is bad. This bitch is not. Oh playing. my god, the dirty video turns 15 like next month, and, and like, I used that to video was watch that everything. video so much. I love that video so incredibly. Oh my god, that whole album stripped. Wow. No, that it's 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 crazy to even think that like. I'm even this old, and that mm-hmm. was so long ago. It was so, and they were like they set the stage for like the pop girls today to try to like kind of do that kind of. I feel like Christina kind of transitioned. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. The sexy kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like Christina did it, and she went out and like she real slutted it up. But at the same time, she had other stuff on that album that showed that she still has talent no. underneath all the grease and grime and like dirt under her nails. No, yeah, she could sing. That's the thing. She, she really could, she could all sing. the time. That was like also like that Lady Marmalade, like right there too. Oh, Another classic. Ooh, that was when Pink was in her black phase. The two thousands were a time. Maya. Maya. God, the early 2000s were such a time. They were. Such a time. Uh, Justin Timberlake. Mm. <laughs> oh, my when he went, when he went solo. Justified was. Oh, my God. <laughs> Justified. Justified was a great album, that, man. That damn album will never not be played. Oh, yes. Oh, he's so good. Now, am I alone in my belief? Okay, now, I was a big NSYNC person. Mm-hmm. I feel like JC was a way stronger singer than Justin. And he just never got the props. I just only cared about Justin. Really? Yeah. Aw, man. JC really had the pipes. Like, I feel like he was holding that group together until at least Celebrity. And then Celebrity came out and it was like Justin's launch pad. And they only cared about Justin in that album. Yeah. But but No Strings Attached. A, A perfect album. You remember, like, 98 degrees yes Damn. uh <laughs> give Nicholas, me just one night nick lachey <laughs> he's on dancing with the stars <laughs> with uh nick, who was he with is just, nick lachey with drew lachey was his brother and then the two others i don't know what and then there was are. he's married to jessica simpson and they had their reality, the reality show. show where she talked Damn. about chicken of the sea now he's married to vanessa manillo i don't even know who that is she was a trl host was she trl let's google I've been Googling a lot tonight. Vanessa Manillo. No, she's Vanessa Lachey. But she was... Oh, yeah, she was TRL. It says Entertainment Tonight and TRL. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Why should look like a young... Uh, Vanessa Williams? Vanessa Williams. Yeah, I agree. That's a lot of bronzer. <laughs> Woo! But yeah. That's a lot of bronzer. <laughs> I could talk about the early 2000s forever. Oh, my God. They were like... Which is a perfect time to be alive. No, it really was. I think that's it for my Q&A portion. Thank you for answering those questions. Yeah, they're not hard. <laughs> that's good, though. They weren't hard. They were good questions. I don't know. People always ask me dumb questions. I do my research up like beforehand. I no. feel like I have, you have to be a responsible, like, blah, 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 blah. responsible <laughs> journalist. <laughs> so like mush mouth. <laughs> but you have to be a responsible journalist. Like, oh, I was watching the Emmys the other day, and... I'm not going to name names, but one fella from E, um, he just was terrible. Like, they, they don't know. Like, they just are talking, and people are feeding them what to say in, like, their headphones. And you're like, you don't know what, you, like, what yeah. you're asking these people. No, and that, and that gets really annoying, like, when people just ask questions. It's like, you did not do research. And the Mm-mm. question that you're asking me, you literally could just type in this question in Google, and you will probably Absolutely. get five different articles that all have the answer and that's to like, this question. It's like, and it's a, like... It's a slap in the face to people who like actually want to be journalists or actually are journalists. Mm-hmm. We're doing our like as well as we can. We're actually putting in the time, mm-hmm. and they're like, just the talking heads. And you're like, oh yeah, you got this job just because like you look a certain way. And it's like, yeah. dog. Uh, but the third portion of the show is my favorite. What's it's that? um unpopular opinions. Oh man, damn. So, well, what did you think it was? 
No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I have a lot of them. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you to choose one, and then we'll talk about it, and then I'll choose one, and we'll talk about I'm it. I'm going to get in trouble. Go. Cool. That's why they're unpopular. Want me to go first? Sure. Okay, so Fenty Beauty. I love, like, what they're doing. I love everything. But that Trophy Wife highlighter is too you going girl much. you want an angry mob it's too much house. it's way girl, too much i would never say that girl Rihanna, no it girl, looks Rihanna no fans, like crazy no it's too much it just like okay i remember yeah, but it reminds me of twilight like how you sparkle and yeah the, like, but the like vampires. i feel i don't know it's it's too yellow it's I too mean, i know rihanna can pull it off because she's like rihanna but not everyone can pull off that bright ass yellow. I mean, it's but, not even the gold. It's a yellow. But let them, man, let them have fun, man. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Look, I'm I don't want to go you. outside and look like I'm rainbow to save you. fish. All the fans is not going for that. They're not going for none of that. They're not it's taking no <laughs> slander. And I'm not here. Y'all don't know me. I'm not here because <laughs> I don't want them outside my crib. Talk about what you say about Rihanna. What you say about Trophy Wife. I'm sorry. Like at literally everything else in that line is stunning. Like I've been watching like the tutorials. I or maybe went to you the just gotta use a little, little, little bit. You like know a what I'm literally a, a Q-tips worth because these girls are like coming out and like I said, they look like rainbow fish. Just <laughs> it's a mess. She's saying rainbow, fish. rainbow fish. Yeah, I said it. She's rainbow saying, fish. She said rainbow fish. <laughs> It's just too much. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, I love, I love, oh, my God, that lip gloss. I tried it at the oh, mall. Oh, the, the gloss bomb. It's very pretty. And I did put, like, a swatch on my hand, like, on my hand, and it did oxidize really quickly. So I did like that about the line. It's just Trophy Wife. I think, oops, I think Trophy Wife would be better as maybe an eyeshadow. I mean, you can use that for whatever. Though. But not this highlight. I feel like. Some people are just doing too much with this highlight, and that's just... Now, there's other stuff, like, there's other highlights in that line, but Trophy Wife, I, like, just, no. Mm. Keep that away from me. That's my unpopular opinion. I feel it. That's real. What's yours? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me think about it. I don't know. Any type of food that you're not too much of a fan of, or a movie that everyone thinks is really good that you're like, eh, no, not really... Um, I don't know. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I, I'm sure I have others, but I think that was enough damage for me tonight. Dang, I'm sorry. Like, dang, any other time? I don't know. You did put something on Twitter the other day. What'd I say? You said baby carrots are gross. Man, baby carrots are fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that an unpopular opinion? I like baby carrots. Baby carrots are fucking gross. And, and, I mean, whatever. Like, carrots are good with other shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you to throw some carrots in in the midst of some other shit, cool. But, like, just carrots, a, long, a bag of carrots, like, <laughs> a small bag of baby carrots. Like, if, if you ask me, oh, do you want a snack? Oh, yes, I would love a snack. Oh, here you go. And it's a bag of baby carrots. <laughs> I'm going to literally think that you're trying to tell me. Bitch, you're a horse. Like, <laughs> you are a rabbit, bitch. Like, here's some rabbit food. Because I'm going to be so mad. Like, I hate carrots. Like, I don't know. Just by themselves is just so not great. And it's like, and then it's like, oh, you put ranch on them, but that shit's so unhealthy. Like, That's true. So it's like, how do you make them not be gross? And also beets. Beets are fucking oh, disgusting. Beets, beets if I hear first, another ugh. person tell me that they just taste earthy. <laughs> no, nigga. That's a fancy word for they taste like sand. They are gross. <laughs> they are fucking gross. I think beets were, the, beets were the only vegetable that my mom didn't force me to eat. Like, I hated most vegetables. Like, I always hated cauliflower. Um, what is a cauliflower? A dry ass broccoli stalk. That's what I'm saying. With no flavor. Like broccoli at least has a little bit of flavor. Yeah. Cauliflower is nothing. I even tried to make something. It's called cracked cauliflower and just like put a little like glaze on it and then put them in the oven and they're like all crunchy. Why is, why are you, why are you doing this to me? He's just like, mm -mm, don't No, That was actually pretty good. But then like when I started thinking about it, when I was eating it, I'm like, this is still cauliflower. I can still taste cauliflower. Yeah. So like, no, cauliflower I don't is even, disgusting. I stay away beets from, are, wouldn't it be? Beets are disgusting. Wouldn't it be the little, the little tray? 
Oh, the, the like the veggie um, tray. Veggie tray, yeah. I fuck with the broccoli. I fuck with the celery. Now celery. I ain't gonna hold you up, man. Celery be off the chain. You put some <laughs> damn peanut butter on that shit. <laughs> God damn. That's what, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm country slick. But um, nah, we used to do that in fucking nifty nutrition, man. When I was in elementary school, <laughs> used to get the apples, the celery, and just throw some peanut butter on it. And they'd be like, oh, you see, being healthy is delicious. You know, <laughs> you know stuff like that. Now, nah, beasts are nasty. Cat, I like baby carrots. I won't eat them just like, oh, and like if you're gonna put a real snack next to baby carrots, I'm not gonna do baby carrots. Like, yeah, anytime. no, for sure. No, I mean I've just been offered baby carrots before. That's such a peculiar thing to. Ask I mean, someone I mean, I just eat. have like, I just be hanging around people who are like super health conscious. That's so they're like I. always trying to like offer me like. A healthy alternative. And I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> no, veggie straws are a healthy alternative because they're like veggie straws and they still taste like chips. See, yeah. Uh, me, man, I'm just like, just just give me some sugar. Oh, I'm a, sal- I'm a salt Give person. me something with sugar in it. Mm. I'm so addicted to sugar so bad. What's your favorite like sugar snack? Uh, what? Everything. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with a bunch of grams of sugar. It's <laughs> my favorite. No, I mean, I really love Airheads. Mm. Um, yeah, man. I be having to, like... When you were a kid, did you, like, shake them down mm-hmm. so they were, like, mm-hmm. pocket-sized? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was, like, my favorite pastime. I love Airheads. Uh, Skittles are my favorite. I, I really, I'm really off Skittles and Starburst. I'm kind of off Skittles them. Skittles leave, like, a weird taste in the back of your throat. Yeah, it's, like, this weird... I mean, that, that's, like, that's from all that damn food coloring. Mm-hmm. And, it's and, just, like... a film of gunk yeah. at the back of your throat and i'm always doing this and i might i might be weird as fuck but anytime i get done eating stuff like that i go <sighs> yes yeah i have yes, it's I like you can thing. like get that stuff yes. out it's so weird and then you're like spitting it up and then it's just like different colors yeah so it's like uh, mucus it's gross but no airheads is just like my main thing i don't really i'm not really like i don't really eat anything else no, I'm lying, but <laughs> <laughs> if I had a choice, I'm always... Oh, and high chews. High chews? You know what high chews are? Oh. Are they like um, now and laters? Mm-mm, no. High chews are high chews. the best okay, candy. So I'm going to Google that, You too. know what high chews are? You don't know what high chews are? Is either? that a... Maybe it's like more of a southern thing. It's uh, H-I. Oh, that's... I don't even know how it's spelled. I put high, like, high and low. I choose. Yeah, man. They are like Japanese candies. And no, I've never even heard of this before. Yeah, I think they like start, like I guess they're like Japanese candies, and then they brought them over here. But I had them when I was in Tokyo, and I was like, damn, these hoes is fire, man. I wish I could take these back to the United States with me. And then I couldn't. <laughs> and then I came to New York and I went to the little corner store and I seen that they had them and I was like, oh my God, mm-hmm. like Jesus heard me. He knew <laughs> that I wanted these. He knew my heart. So he got me high truths. It know? only gives its best yeah, to man. the brightest. Mm-hmm. Jesus knows my heart. And he <laughs> rewards you per- like perfectly as such. <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> well, I think, I think we've got it all covered. So that's all for the and friends with Jaina Jefferson. Mm Because you changed the name now. So it's easier to find for search optimization. Mm -hmm. Uh, Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JNA Jefferson. And don't forget to disappear. Oh, my God. See, I didn't do an an outro last time. So now I'm like reading it and I'm stammering. Um, And don't forget to subscribe to the show on iTunes, the podcast app, and Google Play, where you can stay up to date on new episodes when they become available. Extreme thanks to Carrie Foe, my guest host today, for being like just fucking, yes, just the coolest ever. And I was like, the fact that you even are here. I like out of the blue. I'm just like Carrie. I'm making a podcast. Will you be my, my guest? She's yeah. like, yeah. And I'm yeah, like, I'm okay. Like, sure. I, <laughs> I was like super surprised. I don't have anything else to do. I and have... this is like super cool. No, this is tight. This is tight. Awesome. Do you have anything that you'd like to promote? Um, just before we 
skedaddle? Um, my project's coming out on Friday. Go get that. September 22nd. Help me take care of my my uh my sugar addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm going on tour with Sid. I'm doing the, I'm going to New York, Boston, Baltimore, D.C. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just. Follow her advice, um, social medias. Drink and water. Her, and her regular and, social medias. And tell yourself that you're pretty every morning. Oh, I also like to close the show out with, um, Donald Trump. Bitch, stop it. I have never in my life had to yell at a girl like this. Uh, honestly, like every episode's gonna end with like a fuck you to Donald Trump. Yeah, I mean, yeah, fuck that guy. He is, I don't know, man. He just stop tweeting like forever, please. Just gonna get stop us making bad decisions for a whole entire country, <laughs> please. Like, how about that, bro? He called Kim Jong un Rocket Man. And you don't think we're going to get blown to okay, smithereens? Man. Okay, first of all, we're not going to get blown to smithereens because we have Dennis Rodman, okay? <laughs> Dennis <laughs> Rodman is over here doing God's work, okay? Mm-hmm. He's over here. He's friends with this man. He said that he's 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 a great guy. He is a great... He laughs a lot. He... He, you know, it's just a joy to be around. He probably dances to Let's Hear It For The Boy. Yeah, I'm just like, man, Dennis Rodman going to save us. Can you imagine? And y'all like, talk wow. bad about Dennis Rodman. And he gonna, he the one that's going to save us. He's the hero that we always needed. But never knew it. But until never now. knew it until now. You know, people don't notice a good thing but like when it's in front of them. That's what it is. Yeah, man. Wait, I actually made a tweet. Can I? Wait, are yeah, we going to wrap this up? No, go right. We have like nine minutes. We good. Okay, cool. Hold on. I got this. Let me look this up. Because I know I said something about Dennis Rodman saving the world one time. I did. <laughs> I did, because I ain't playing. Like, he really gone. He like, gonna it's just s- like, I just wish Trump would just stop forever. Like, please. Like, why? Yeah. Every, like, every day I sit, I lay awake in bed and, like, why? Oh, man, I ain't got no service. Oh, we have the, the Wi-Fi password. You can check on my phone if you'd like, if you want to do that. Scenic the basement. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I thought that. Oh. That was our messages together. But yeah, um, I feel like Dennis Rodman can really do a lot to help us as people. Yeah, man. he He's over here keeping foreign affairs. <laughs> he's holding he's holding everything together. Oh, and also like a special F you to the Emmys anyway, because Sean Spicer was there. Kikiing and fist bumping everybody having a ball. Like, he wasn't part of this whole, like, circus the other day. Who? Sean Spicer. Like, the, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was on the Emmys. Like, it was no big thing. And it's like, you guys are... That was really irresponsible. Like, as a committee, to even think that was, like, remotely funny. Stop yeah. normalizing bullshit people. No, facts. Absolutely. Damn, I don't know if I'm gonna find it. I guess it ain't on here. Hmm. Well, what did it say? No, it was just, it was just like a tweet that was like it was a tweet where it was like um, this was I feel like this was last year or sometime, but it was basically like North Korea saying that they were gonna like launch missiles, and I had like quoted and was like, "Where's the, Dennis Rodman when you need him?" Because <laughs> I'm like, bro, tell them to relax. I think so. So that was and friends. See you next time. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Sayonara. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Adios. Bye. That's it. <laughs>